Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to go over how to use 10 stop filters and a few of their benefits and why you want to use them. So there's many benefits in using filters. There's all different types. There's the rectangle filters or the circular filters. The one I have is a Hoya Pro ND 1000 filter, which is a circular screw-on filter. And uh, there's also graduated filters, then filters anywhere from one stop to even up to 15 stops and probably even more. But uh, one of the best benefits for filters is pretty much just for artistic use. It uh, will smooth out water, smooth out clouds, and enable you to make a longer shutter speed. So you can really get a long exposure even in the day or even I like to use them at sunset as well because you can even get a longer exposure than normal causing the clouds to really smooth out and then the water to smooth out as well. So the filter I have is a Hoya branded filter. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I've had it for a couple months. Um, you can get these for around less than $100 which isn't too bad. You really don't want to get cheap filters because the glass might not be high quality which could affect the image quality and also it could present a color cast. With this one I haven't had too much problem with color casts as long as I get the exposure right in camera. It doesn't give any like blue or orange tones that would wreck the image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up my camera. I still have a few minutes for sunset. We've got a nice scene to work with tonight. I'm going to show you guys just how to use this filter properly. set up with my camera. I've got my uh, composition figured out. What I'm doing is I'm just doing a wide open shot at about 15 millimeters. I'm getting the beach in the foregrounds, the mountain in the backgrounds, and then the cloud in the clouds in the ocean. Um, it's very important when you're using a filter to have movement in the scene. Otherwise the filter won't really have much effect. So the water should all smooth out and then the cloud should get nice streaks in it. And then first thing what you want to do before you put the filter on, it's very important because once the filter is on, it gets very dark. You want to set a baseline exposure. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to focus. Set my exposure. I'm on F8. ISO 100. Always try and get the ISO as low as possible because it just makes for a lot cleaner and more noise free images. And then I'm going to be on 1 30th of a second. And then once you get the exposure locked in, you want to switch it from uh, autofocus mode to manual focus mode. The reason you switch it is because when you add the filter, sometimes the camera's autofocus will kind of go on the fritz and it won't know where to focus because it's so dark. So you switch it to manual focus to lock that focus in. And now once we have our baseline exposure set up, we need to figure out how much it's going to be for the 10 stop filter. A 10 stop filter reduces light obviously by 10 stops. So in order to figure out the exposure, you have to multiply that by a thousand. So we're at 1 30th of a second times a thousand. Got to get the calculator out. So I figured it's going to be a 33 second exposure. Now I'm going to use a shutter release and then you have to turn the camera to bulb mode because you can, if it's less than 30 seconds for the exposure, you can just use a self timer and then do it that way. But a shutter release, if it's over 30 seconds, because when you press the shutter, it could give the camera a little bit of shake, which could cause a blurry image. So it's always best to have a shutter release. 
Now I'm going to add the filter and take a picture. I'll show you what the, fil what the picture looks like before the filter and then after the filter as well. So another thing you want to do when taking a long exposure is block off the back viewfinder because light can get in and ruin the image. Um, on my camera, the Nikon D500 actually has a little flap that you can flip it and it'll close the viewfinder. So no light can get in the back, which is quite convenient. But otherwise, you can just get like a piece of tape, piece of cloth, anything to cover it up. All right, so now I'm gonna take the image and uh, with sunset, as it keeps getting darker and darker, you'll just have to keep expanding the amount of time you're taking the exposure for. Um, you can also just take off the filter, get another baseline exposure, do the math again, and do another long exposure. But me, I usually just kind of guess with it because I'm too lazy to do all that stuff. So it's kind of a guessing game for the most part for me because it is kind of a pain to unscrew the filter then screw it back on. So right now we did the math was 33 seconds, but it's already getting kind of dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna expose for 40 seconds and we'll see how that turns out and see if I need to adjust for the next shot. <laughs> so I just took that picture and didn't have it in bulb mode. So uh, now I switched it to bulb mode and now I'm taking the picture. So it's gonna be 40 seconds. It's gonna be F8 ISO 100 at about 15 millimeter. And yeah, hopefully it'll come out as a good image. We have the clouds and it's kind of windy, so you'll be able to see the motion in the clouds and in the water. So I think the long exposure came out pretty well. Um, I'll show you an image of what it looks like without the filter on and then with the filter on. And as you can see, the filter really smoothed out the clouds, put motion in the clouds, and made that water nice and silky smooth. All right, so now hopefully you know how to use a 10-stop filter. Hopefully I taught you something. Um, the main things are just get that baseline exposure set and then multiply it by 1,000, whatever the exposure is. Uh, there's other ways you can do it too. You can count 10 stops, which is approximately 30 clicks, but, or you can use apps for it, which are quite convenient. Um, but I just pretty much always add it out because I find that's the easiest way. So, yep, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Well, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.